I know because I have been pregnant three times, the bitter irony of pregnancy is that it's referred to as nine months, when in reality, the truth is you have been pregnant for 10 months, 40 weeks, 10 months. So don't let them tell you it's nine months. Um, so the reason that this is, though, is because the doctors count um, the first few weeks before you, you're you even pregnant as part of those 40 weeks. So basically, it's um, the time between the first day of your period and conception, which is when the, the egg implants um, and the embryo starts turning into a baby. At week five, which is the third week after conception and the fifth of 40 weeks, the embryo has formed its brain, spinal cord, heart, and other organs. And this is also the time when you probably will begin to throw up <laughs> and will first realize that you're pregnant. So all this stuff happens before you even know it. And before, I mean, technically before you're even pregnant because those first couple weeks that they're counting, they're counting from, you know, from the first day of your last period before you got pregnant. Um, so that's why if you are considering pregnancy, um, or if there's even a possibility of you being pregnant, you should, you know, maybe think about taking this time to be extraordinarily healthy. Um, so in 2011, a study published by, um, in Environmental Health Perspectives found that exposures to pesticides in pregnancy had the same negative implications as tobacco smoking, um, which is lower birth weight and um, an earlier labor, um, both things that are, you know, not great for your baby. Um, these studies subjects were not agricultural workers. I just, you know, want to stress that they were like, you know, exposed to pesticides through um, their environment and through food, um, not through working in the fields. Um, so should doctors recommend that women avoid pesticides just like they avoid cigarette smoking? I think yes, and hopefully that will be um, a recommendation of the future as more and more doctors um, start cluing into this stuff. So according to the Environmental Working Group, which um, I'm going to put the URL there because that is it's the most amazing resource for all kinds of incredible information, um, but especially they have something called the Dirty Dozen, which are the 12 foods that you should definitely avoid unless they're organic, and the Clean 15, which are the 15 foods that you actually... Um, can eat not organic, and um, they're, they have very low levels of pesticides on them, so they're considered safer. So <clears throat> um, the EWG found that you can lower your pesticide exposure by 90% simply by avoiding those foods on the dirty dozen list, which is pretty amazing. So these are the most contaminated conventionally grown produce, and I'm going to read them. Peaches, apples, sweet bell peppers, celery, nectarines, strawberries, cherries, lettuce, imported grapes, carrots, and peas. Are you confused? Yes. <laughs> I know. Um, that's why EWG has these cool little cards that you can download and put in your wallet. And I think they have an app coming too. Um, but a good rule of thumb is if something is, um, you know, is pretty, uh, you know, the skin is pretty delicate, um, like a strawberry or a peach or a nectarine, for example, um, it's probably, not always, but this is a rule of thumb you can use, probably going to have a higher dose of pesticides if it's, um, if, it's if it's conventionally grown and you should look for an organic version. Um, on the flip side, if you can peel something like an orange or a banana, um, you know, typically that is going to be something that you can, can eat, uh, you know, conventionally grown without worrying about it. So like if you're somewhere where you don't have a lot of control over um, the type of produce you're getting, and there, there's a bowl, and you have the choice between an orange and an apple, choose the orange, you know, peel peeled it off, wash your hands, and, you know, you're good to go. So, hopefully this is helpful. Um, congratulations if you're watching this and you're pregnant, <laughs> or thinking about it. Um, and, you know, also know that most pesticides can be flushed out of our system within 24 to 48 hours, and that is a really good thing. So, um, even if you don't didn't know this before and you know it now, you know, this is a great, every day is a great day to start. Um, I had two children before I knew about this stuff and they're fine. Anyway, so um, comments, share, um, like, subscribe, please subscribe if you like information like this about, you know, living a more sustainable life, parenting in a more sustainable way. Um, I'm doing it every week here on Friday. Um, so please subscribe. Send me comments. I would love to know, um, you know, are you thinking about healthier eating? 
um, for two. Um, did you follow these kinds of guidelines when you were pregnant or not? I, you know, didn't with two and did with one. And, and I don't see, you know, my kids are all healthy. Thank God. Um, but what do you think? I'd love to hear your comments. And then please tweet me questions at Rachel L. Sarnoff, and I will do my best to answer them each Friday. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.